I'm Charles Hallett. I'm the executive chairman of the Bannum Group and I've been with the company since I was in my 20s. Our 90th anniversary, we feel amazing. 1926, the year of the general strike, a world we none of us even know about. You know, um, can't believe that we've been going 90 years. Pop Bannum, as he used to call him, started the business. That's W.F. Bannum. Because he invented a lock called the Bannum Automatic Bolt, which actually was invented really for his own purposes, because he couldn't get insurance on some of his premises. He was an entrepreneurial guy, had businesses and shops and things. And he suddenly thought, well, I've got to think of a way to lock the door on the inside from the outside. And hence the Bannum Automatic Bolt, which you lock from the outside and throws two bolts across on the inside. Yeah, I mean, he was, he was a bit of a showman, no doubt about that. And he challenged any burglars to get through a Bannum lock that was on a model door in this big showroom we had in Oxford Street. The upshot it was, there was a huge turnout. Masses of people turned up. It did rather backfire in that Scotland Yard also decided to turn up because they might be able to knock off some of the old lags they couldn't put their finger on. It, nobody was able to open any of the locks, um, but it created a huge stir and a lot of publicity. He was very, very good at promoting the business and himself. He used to be known as WFB quite often. Well, WFB, WF Bannum, why fear burglars? And that's apparently how it started. And I remember him being sort of quite extraordinarily sort of dynamic, but amazingly good with children, which is not what you'd have thought, because he was always came across as a rather hard-headed businessman, but he was a big family man as well. And so yeah, we are a close family, which I think gives us a bit of strength in the sense that the company is therefore more stable and secure because of that. We all say that we're a family business, we try to run like a PLC because we've long outgrown the sort of family business small mentality. But having said that, we still feel we're a big family and obviously we are because we've got all these families that actually spent their whole life here. And I'm talking about 40 to 50 years. Mickey Dennis, who's one of our senior service engineers, and he came here as a trainee locksmith aged 16. I'm Mick, that's my son Mark. I've been up to his, uh, 47 years last month. <laughs> so I, I work for CMS. The idea of uh, having a job which can provide for a family for that long definitely inspires me. Well, this is the letter that I got from the Bannum office. Dear Michael, further to your visit at our showrooms, we confirm that we were pleased to engage you as a trainee locksmith or alarm engineer. The directors take this opportunity of welcoming you to our company and assure you of good prospects and an interesting career. And that's very true. We've just grown much bigger, and, but the, the service is still exactly the same. We're very proud to have two of our directors who started on that route came here aged 16 as trainee locksmiths. Um, one of them is Brian Cowper, who's our technical director, and the other, Jimmy Wilson, who's the director of Bannum Alarms. Um, and they're still with us, and thank goodness haven't retired yet. But they've worked their way up from the bottom, literally, right to the top. And I think that's a pretty, uh, that's a very satisfying achievement because, you know, it's a nice feeling to think that actually we've nurtured these guys, recognised their talents, and utilise them and they've been promoted and that's where they've ended up as directors of the company. I started 48 years ago with the company, been with them ever since. Uh, I started here when I was 16, I just left school. They took me on as a trainee lock fitter. We design new locks, we get an idea for a product, put it into a prototype and then if we like it we'll run with it. And they're made to the highest standards, they're all tested to British standard. Panem, it means stability really. My name is Jimmy Wilson. Um, I joined the company in 1979 and I'm now the Alarms Director. When I first started within the, uh, the, the Alarms Department there was no more than a dozen people and now there's significantly more. As I say, when I started in the, uh, in the late 70s there was, there, there was emphasis placed to all staff on family values. Upon the birth of my daughter, Mr Peter, Mr Peter Bannon, um, it came to me and said, you know, congratulations on the birth of, of your daughter, did everything go well? And Yes, Mr Peter. And um, he then lovingly took me to one side and said, I'm going to clump you around the ear if I see you in this office after five o'clock. You make sure you get home and you, you get to see your daughter at least an hour before she goes to bed. And you know, that struck a chord with me and, and it's remained with me ever since. My most proud moments, that's a difficult one because there have been so many. Um, if you go way back, it's to at the sort of moments when we entered a new field, like for instance CCTV. We, we sell now security rather than locks and alarms, we sell the package. We sell physical security, 
backed up by burglar alarms. But had we not gone into alarms, we'd be a very much smaller company than we are now because, of course, burglar alarms led to electronic security generally, CCTV, access control. So AOC, the acronym stands for Alarm Receiving Centre. There's been an alarm receiving centre at Bannham for nearly 40 years now, but obviously this is our new premises in our new building, our head office. So it's been built to take advantage of the latest technological innovations. So this particular shell that we're in now has been constructed with reinforced concrete walls, cast in situ of up to 240 millimetres thick. There's vibration sensors on every wall. There's gas detection systems. And we've got CCTV all around the building, which basically covers every entrance and exit to the alarm receiving centre. Bannon's brand name has always been associated with a quality product and quality customer service, and that's, that's been true right through the 90 year history. The Academy is a new venture. It, it started really by a personal need for the company. Well, I think we've got at least a dozen apprentices in the, in the firm now who were actually electronic students in the Academy. The, the facility at the Academy here is state of the art. We have our um, signature security systems workshop downstairs, which is the ideal place for our engineers and our apprentices to learn the skills they require. People say we give amazing service. So I think we really realise that that's the way we've got the edge on our competitors. We give an unparalleled service, um, cutting edge technology with good old fashioned face to face client interaction. I don't think there's another business out there like us. To a lot of our clients, Bannum as a brand is synonymous with quality and loyalty. As much as we're in our third generation, some of our clients are in their third generation with us. Um, they use us because their parents use us and their parents before them used us. And uh, long may that continue. <laughs> Otherwise I'll be out of a job. <laughs> the ethos of the company is a, is a great responsibility we have towards our clients. Um, one of confidentiality, of course, which is terribly important um, because we know our clients intimately. Also, uh, it has an effect on one to think, well, we've been protecting Londoners since 1926. I think we've reached 90 because we've listened to client feedback and we've shaped our business accordingly. Yeah, Bannum is now coming up to its 90th anniversary. Um, it's a very successful company and I'm really not surprised. They've been around for a long time, they've got a great reputation. What, what do they mean to me as an individual? They've been the main focus of my life. I, I come into this business as a 16 year old. I really didn't know what I wanted to do other than play for West Ham. That was never going to happen. And the reality is they provided stable employment and they've turned me into what I am today, if I'm honest. It's an amazing sense of pride we have that here we are, still a family business, still growing, still successful. Um, it's a real example of from acorns grow oak trees, you know, from those days when my grandfather started the business, he, he sowed the seeds, he put those little acorns in in 1926 and it's an extraordinary feeling.